Hey guys, Curtis from the Northern Garage here, and today we're converting my Autolite 2100 heat coil choke to electric. So this original unit here has a heat coil, it connects via a tube down to the manifold here and then pulls back up, which in turn opens the coil spring in here. Obviously mine is broken. Don't want to replace it really, it's pretty prehistoric. So I'm gonna be installing an electric choke by Mike's Carburetors on this Motocraft 2100 here. I believe it also does work with the 4100s, but if you're unsure, check the website, they have everything that works on. But yeah, let's go open the box, see what it came with, and then get to pulling this one off and installing the uh, new one. I'll show you guys how it's done. All right, so this is it. Um, I gotta say, I ordered this thing Monday and it came, I know we have no concept of what day it is, but ordered this thing Monday and it ended up showing my place Wednesday, which ain't bad. I mean, this came from the US. Oh, it's down in Canada. Now we came with the read before install. Basically the, hey, don't do all these things. Watch out for these. Don't try and move the coal from the housing. You will break the housing. Pretty basic stuff in my personal opinion. Don't want to dox myself, so that stuff. Business card, I add to the uh, business card staple on the walls. Again, this kit came from Mike's Carburetors. Um, real cost effective kit, like I gotta say, nice and cheap. Especially for solving such an issue like that. Like some guys might say like, oh, you know, they might look at buying a new carburetor, different choke style on it, maybe a new manifold or, you know, threading and tapping the manifold to work with a new heat coil. This here seems to be the way, like my system, I gotta say, my carb is just set up so perfectly for my 302 that's in the truck that I don't want to change it out. So this is a great option. So I gotta say, very in-depth instructions. I have done other things with other items that did not come with instructions nearly as nice as these did. So it comes with all your applicable years, it fits on, and yeah, like, there's nine steps to it. Um, perfect setup and everything, so we're just going to toss these aside and uh, install it. So this is the electric choke kit. You have your ground here, which goes to your thermostat, which you bolt to manifold, and is also your ground for the whole thing. So you want to make sure whatever you're bolting this to is nice and clean. And then your positive wire, which goes to this terminal here. This one here, they obviously only can plug into each other. Well. This one, positive can only plug into positive, negative can only plug into negative. Positive goes to any 12 volt system. I think I'll end up running mine off of the solenoid, the star solenoid, I got a couple 12 volt feeds off that, or the main bus bar block. Um, but let's go uh, take the old choke off, that vacuum heat coil, and we'll get this thing on. So yeah, we gotta remove the heat coil choke. We're gonna start with removing this line here, the uh, vacuum heat line. I didn't tighten mine up all the way because I knew it would be converting to electric choke with mine being broken. So let's pull this line off first. That gives us room to work out that choke. So you have three slot screws, one on the bottom, two on the top, the two on the top are visible. I'm sure you can see them. This bottom one's just underneath this bracket. Pull these three screws out. Magnetic screwdrivers help a lot with that so you're not dropping them down in the intake manifold. Pull this shroud off, and then our coil. All right, so the second step. Oh, so our choke is pretty floppy here. You're gonna take your throttle, turn about half turn, close your choke all the way, and then it's gonna lock in place. So this uh, from 90 degrees, level with the engine, up to about a 45 degree angle. This means your fast idle is locked into place. That's exactly what I want. We're gonna take this prong here, take our new gasket with our choke here, electric choke. Make sure this spring lines up with the fork. Install that. Right there. And then we'll take our bracket that holds on the electric choke. 
place this on and screw it back on. Give a little turn, make sure it's still, that fork is still holding on. Yep. Put our last screw. Now you wanna make sure you leave it loose so you still have that adjustment. So your next step will be looking at the back of the install sheet. It has multiple years for your engine. Um, this engine here is a 69. So according to the graph on the back of the install, I need to line the tab up center. So you can see we have these seven tabs up here and then the white tab there. This is 69, I want to start with it in the center. Put it in the center there. I'm not tying up our screws all the way, all three of them. It's nice and locked down. All right, so next off, we gotta cap the uh, heat pipe, the stove pipe. Obviously this red cap came in your kit. Just push it right on there. Bam, boom, done. So now we're gonna put on the negative lead, which is the coil. I'll end up installing it on one of the intake manifold bolts up in the front here near the water pump. And like I said, the positive, we'll run up here and tap one of these, run up to one of these, because they're all 12 volts. Probably end up running it to this one here. This is a constant 12 volt coming off the starter solenoid. So let's get these on. All right, so like I was saying, I'm gonna put it up in the front there for the uh, thermostat, right in the very front, so right underneath, Basically in line with the old Nate or with the distributor here of this front stud here. This is obviously where the water pump comes out of. Take this bolt off. And then because this also grounds out the thermostat, I want to make sure it's nice clean contact. So I'll take my little scrub brush here and clean it up. So that's nice, clean metal to contact. Wasn't too terribly dirty to start with. So we'll take our thermostat, get it fished in here just the way I want it. Just like that. It's nice and hidden. It has good contact, throw that in. Finger tight start. And then put it home with the racket. There we go. About there is our thermostat negative cable installed. So from there, we'll run this line, this wire, and through. Do a little bit extra. I might come back and clip this off. Or we can even coil it up, tuck it away nice. And this will come up into the negative terminal. Just like that. Tuck the extra back in behind it. And the positive. Now it connects here, and then it'll connect up to that solenoid. It just comes with cut in, so I'll put a ring terminal on it, and that way I can hook it right to that wire there, make it nice and pretty, so. Got everything wired up. Got the negative going up to thermostat up in here. Positive going up to 12 volt power. Now we will start the truck. Check choke operation, so. See if it works. And there we go. It's now wide open. So that uh, there guys, how you install the Mike's carburetor electric choke kit on the Motocraft 2100 slash 4100 carburetors. This is to eliminate your heat coil um, exhaust tube. Pretty, pretty easy setup. Um, I'm really impressed with it. And it was cheap. It was really cheap. Honestly, I think shipping was probably more than what this thing cost to get. But like I said, I'm really impressed by it. Now I have a functioning choke. So, 
Thanks for watching, guys. This is Curse of the Northern Garage. Appreciate a like and a subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video.